Node.js versus the browser or window. If you're coming from the world of front-end JavaScript, particularly for the browser, you may be thrown off by some of the differences in Node versus that kind of environment. First, when in the browser or the console of a browser, there are a number of global variables and functions that are available to you that have no counterpart in Node. Here's a partial list of them. As you can see, these are built-in features that let you do things like manipulate objects on the screen or redirect users from one place to another. There's no backend equivalent to these, so there's no way to use them or do anything like that in Node. Also, the converse is true. There are a number of things that are possible from the backend that have no equivalent on the front end. This includes writing to the file system, interacting with the operating system, etc. To facilitate these features, Node makes a number of APIs and globals available, and we'll be going over those later in these lectures. When appropriate, I'll note when we're using vanilla JavaScript, such as writing a for loop, and when we're using a feature specific to Node, such as getting the number of cores of the current operating system. For now, all you have to remember is that nothing related to window objects, browser objects, the screen, or the browser location make any sense in Node land, and that Node is devoid of anything like those. Another major difference between Node and the browser is that Node is a single static environment. If you've done much work in the browser, you know how much of a pain cross-browser compatibility is. One feature will work in Chrome, but will fail in Internet Explorer, or something will work a certain way in Opera, but a totally different way in Safari or Firefox. Cross-browser issues take loads of time and patience, both from the devs and the QA people and the end users. Luckily, on the back end, there's no such issue. When you're building a Node application, you don't have to worry about it running well on X platform or Y distribution. You only have to get it to run on the servers you're using and the localhost environment you're working on. Much of the time, this is trivial. Anywhere you have a given Node version installed, it will be able to run your application the way it's intended. And if you have issues with cross-platform compatibility, there are container solutions like Docker that make your life a lot easier, but that's rarely even necessary. The last important difference between Node and the browser is the fact that the JavaScript source code within Node can't be seen by the end users. When you're writing JavaScript in the browser, you must take into account that anything you write can be seen by the user if they view source on the document. But in Node, there's no way for them to do that. This means you can use private keys and other sensitive information in your code without worrying about prying eyes.